Hello my dear friends, hello and welcome to another review of a vintage German piece. This is uh, quite a rare model and it uh, entered my collection when I bought a lot of fountain pens. They were approximately 20 pieces and among them was this wonderful, wonderful Mont Blanc 334 and a half with a gorgeous oblique broad nib. First of all, let me tell you the amazing price that I paid for this pen. So it cost me around 25 euros or 30 American dollars and again it was part of a lot so I was very fortunately fortunate to buy this at this amazing price this particular model was produced before during and a little after the second world war it is a beautiful piston filler made out of celluloid but it also has some hard rubber parts that are highlighted on it and um, i will show them to you in detail so let me zoom a little bit on this pen because i want to show you its characteristics and let's start with the cap that um, has at the top of it this wonderful logo interesting enough this logo didn't develop in time that ivory patina most of them were made out of casein but this appears to be made out of the different material certainly the material that holds that um, logo is made out of hard rubber and you can see in this lighting that this has that brown or chocolatey patina and the celluloid remained in this beautiful beautiful black on the cap we have thermically engraved uh, engraved but also painted mont blanc look at this wonderful wonderful and beautiful beautiful logo it also has this very very interesting clip which has this art deco aspects to it definitely a design of the 1930s again we don't see that cigar shape specific of the 1950s and i'm talking about let me show you guys this type of a pen so i have here a meisterstuck 144 from the beginning of the 1950s you can see the difference in design the torpedo shape versus the flat top shape specific the design specific of the 1930s let me continue with uh, some details on this 30 334 and a half the cap ends with two band rings gold plated interesting enough we have this part here which is also made out of hard rubber because it has this brown patina drp 652405 so DRP Deutsche Reich patent this was a trademark used uh, from uh, the beginning of the 20th century till the end of the 1950s but practically I um, associate this DRP with the ending of the second world war so when the deutsche reich fell and uh, this is the ending on all the turning knob we can see thermically engraved ob from oblique broad nib and of course we have 
the name of the model 334 and a half. The 334 and a half refers to the nib and unfortunately enough when I bought this this particular pen was fitted with a Mont Blanc nib but not specific to this model. Somewhere in uh, its uh, service history the original 334 and a half nib was replaced by this 14 carat number 4 nib which is specific to a Mont Blanc deep pen, a number 4 deep pen. But just as uh, a curiosity guys, I've already shown you that 144 from the 1950s, it is also fitted with a number 4 nib and I wanted to compare them and yes they seem to be of the same uh, the same dimension so the same number four nib of course this is to color them this is simple and also the feeder is different again a model from the 1930s versus a model from the beginning of the 1950s let me put this aside and guys this is a piston filler with an ink window the ink window is barely visible i'm not so sure i think i've tried to see if the piston is functional and it certainly operates like this very interesting we have a blind cap and it operates from this particular turning knob and yes guys it turns but I believe it needs the corkscrew to be replaced. This is one reason that I did not clean this ink window. I'm not so sure if this particular piece over here has some roll. Now I'm trying to see if I can open it by unscrewing this part. And it appears that it can be open through this part i don't want to put pressure on it but it has an interesting system and i believe that mont blanc developed this system for an easy access clean to that particular interesting enough we have metallic parts here so guys this is the first time that i'm opening it i hope that i won't ruin it it appears to be a telescopic system this I think it needs to be replaced and I think that I can clean it using some um, water and a syringe and probably I will clean this uh, ink window and I will show you the results so I will pause the video and when I will get started I will show you the end result of me cleaning this barrel and making and making visible the ink window so I will pause the video right now so I return guys for those of you who are curious how I will clean this I have here a medical syringe with a medical needle, be careful when you use it, it's not a blind, blunt needle, so be careful not to hurt, hurt yourself when you operate it. And I have also this little sticks with this cotton end. And I have two glasses with tap water. So this is the reservoir guys, I am trying to reach it uh, by here and I will dip this cotton in water and I will gently insert it over this and I will rub it gently, you can see how dirty that uh, ink window is if you want to clean all the barrel you can use also two of them in the same time 
so using them like this and putting them like this you know don't uh, apply too much pressure on this old material because you can ruin the fountain pen and you can see how many uh, 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 residues of ink now you can see the clear ink window which is very very large as you can see a large large ink window and it is a shame that on the newer models this interesting system uh, didn't uh, have in time it certainly gives us access to the reservoir and for a, for a better cleaning just put this here be careful guys when you do these procedures uh, to not drop some parts on um, the floor because they are very very fragile materials and believe me you it is impossible to find replacement parts i will take some water from here okay now i will put the needle right over here why am i using this i need to create some pressure and probably i will evacuate the water through this part so let me take this insert the needle all the way through and now just evacuate the water okay like this okay it will create a pressure and oh sorry you can see that the ink is still present there if you want now you can use another of this cotton um, to clean the residues of the ink and you can still see it still remains ink mostly i'm trying to clean the ink window the visible ink window and uh, especially that uh, part that connects it so there's still residues of ink as you can see and now I will repeat the same procedure remove the needle placing uh, water okay put back the needle and now do the same thing that I've done let me see like this okay you can still see that we don't have clean water so definitely definitely some residues of ink out there and guys simply repeat this procedure and i think i will repeat this procedure till i will see the clean uh, the the exit water to be cleaned this means that we don't have any more residues of ink in the reservoir of course residues of ink could be in this part the grip section and also on the feeder and um, those are a little bit trickier to clean especially when i don't have a functioning piston if you have a functioning piston you just pour clean water into it and uh, as the exit the water through this part but a very very nice window i will clean it as good as i can and after i will clean it i have two choices guys one of the choices is to manual insert the ink using a syringe through this part but i think i will do the writing session just dipping this part this um, nib into ink and the feeder i don't know if i can uh, 
remove all the excess of the ink from this part so it's better for me to do the writing sample just dipping the pen so i will pause again the video and when i will return i will be ready to do the writing sample i'm uh, sorry for the mess guys before i will do the actual writing sample let me leave the dimensions of this beautiful Mont Blanc 334 and a half fountain pen on the screen. You can see now the ink window is um, much more visible and in fact it, we have a large, large ink window. The piston interesting is functional like this and um, you can see the ending of the piston a nice and a beautiful beautiful piece again guys um, it took me a while to clean it so i think i will do the writing sample just dipping the pen in uh, ink i hope you understand me this is the end of the turning knob and this is the cap for the writing sample like i've done in the previous week with uh, the mont blanc meister stuck 126g i will use this parker quick ink which in my point of view it is uh, a very very nice and interesting ink but also is a lubricated ink and uh, i think it will uh, do justice to this vintage vintage pieces okay so this is the ink bottle okay i have here the pen by the way guys the pen can be posted but in uh, this case i will use it unposted this is the ink I will insert it in ink. I will give it a little, little gently squeeze. Now I'm removing the excess of the ink as good as I can. And let's see. Now I am removing the excess of the ink from the grip section. Okay. Wonderful. And now let me open my yes and i will still leave the ink bottle open just in case i will need to redeep the pen in ink so let me zoom a little bit on the paper like yes like this and let me see so what do i have here i have a mont blanc and it definitely needs a little bit more of ink. Let's see. Again, let's remove the excess from the grip section from here. And I hope it will write this time. So what do I have here, guys? I have a Mont Blanc. three three four and a half it was originally fitted with an oblique broad nib but this time i think that this number four nib is like an f nib f for a fine nib unfortunately uh, this pen is fitted with a number four a 14 carat 585 nib from a much older deep pen a mont blanc pen but the original 334 and a half nib an oblique broad nib is missing and i will leave a picture with the original nib that uh, was fitted on this particular model like i've already told you this was made um, in the late 1930s so late 
1940s but also uh, 1930s but also in the 1940s and in the year was war and also a little at the beginning of the 1950s so it quite was quite a popular model if it lasted for almost three decades what can i tell you about uh, this uh, particular nib it seems to be like a fine nib now i'm curious to see if we have some visible line variants and yes definitely we can see we have a little flex to it it seems to be quite quite a juicy nib and you can see interesting nib now uh, let me zoom a little bit for you to see better guys and not like not so much but yes like this so here i don't apply pressure but here i'm starting to apply pressure so definitely you can see here some little line variance this number four nib although it's not original to this model it's quite an interesting interesting nib okay and uh, i'm curious to see if we i can reverse right with this nib reverse writing uh, i don't think so no not a possibility it uh, loses the ink flow so it was not designed for reverse writing but i bet i can do quite nice signatures with it and uh, yes this is the case now guys let me tell you about the quick brown fox let me see so the quick brown fox maybe i need uh, a little deep yes but gently deep okay the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog so definitely definitely an interesting model from uh, Mont Blanc. what can i say i love the fact that you can remove the piston from this part and you can easy clean this ink window i enjoy this system unfortunately it is a relic of Mont Blanc's history they don't make them as they used to make them it is a shame because you can easy clean the pen when you need to so guys this was my review of this wonderful wonderful fountain pen clearly a design of the 1930s a beautiful beautiful piece although it is not fitted with its original nib it is a very very special mont blanc in my collection and again a very very old old mont blanc piece so thank you for your time i want to wish you to have a nice day my friends wherever you are i hope you've enjoyed the review of uh, this mont blanc vintage pen i will see you again in the next episode till then bye bye and God bless you all, my dear friends.